I'm on a food tour. I just started and I kind of might have told them I'm allergic to mushrooms and cilantro just to avoid it because then people start in on like, well, are you allergic or do you just not like it? Will you die? Yes, I will die. I will die if I have mushrooms or cilantro. So, sorry, can't be eating those things tonight. There must be more in the world than mushrooms and cilantro, right? There must be more. So our first course has arrived and I said I didn't really want a lot of food. He said it was just going to be a little bit, but an entire plate of rice. I can't eat all that. <laughs> and what are we doing tonight? Yes, I'm the tour guide for you tonight for Jollof Appetit. Nice. So we're going to share our different local food. We We're not going to share it. He's going to eat all of it because this is a lot of food. <laughs> there will be no sharing. Tastes like rice pilaf. Mm. The white one is just regular rice. I'm assuming this is saffron. This one we call it pilau. Pilau? Yes, pilau. This we call it isami. It's mixed with some cassava. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Sombe. What is it? It's, it's sombe, cassava leaves. Cassava leaves? Yes. Who'd have thunk? It's quite good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could eat a whole bowl, but a taste mm -hmm. is definitely perking me up. I don't know how I'm expected to eat an entire plate of rice on our first stop on a food tour. It's even bigger than an entire plate of rice. It's an entire plate of four rice. Four rice. Four rices. Four ricey. So here I am with this all-natural drink. It's made out of lemon, ginger, and sugar cane. Uh, I didn't know this, but sugar cane is rich in uh, in vitamins, it's uh, rich in daily minerals, it boosts your energy, it boosts your immune system, prevents cancer, does so many wonderful things, but it's also a laxative, so I better be careful and not drink the whole thing or there will be consequences. Better be a bathroom nearby. Put your phone down. So this is small fish, we call it Sambaza. Sambaza? Sambaza. They are very fresh from Lake Kivu on the border of Congo. This is cassava, we call it fufu, that's French, but we call it uh, ugari. Ugari in Kenya Rwanda. Ugari is very nice. So it's good to eat this with this. So they want to bring us some soup made with tomatoes to eat with this. So enjoy. What am I eating? What are these again? Sambaza. 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 They're <laughs> deep fried fish and they still have the eyes. <laughs> Some people don't like to eat off the bone. I don't like to eat things with eyes, but hey, I'm on a food tour so I might as well make the most of it, right? Here it goes. Sambaza and me. They gave me about 150 of them, but <laughs> I'm going to commit to one. Where's my drink? Okay. Okay. It's not my favorite thing. I think I'm good with just having tried one. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cleanse my palate now with some ginger, some sugar cane, and some uh, lemon. And I'm gonna move on. Okay, I've been told, uh, <laughs> don't chew, just swallow, so give it a best shot. I don't know how to not chew. <laughs> I can't do it, I have to chew it. I have to chew it. No, I can't. I can't just swallow it, I have to chew it. I'm sorry, this meal does not work for me. Chew or nothing. Chew or go home. Okay, I've got a little bit of Kigali. I've got a little bit of a hot 
it almost looks like a chutney. It's a hot sauce. And I have a little bit of deep fried banana and I'm mixing it all together. You can't really see it. But anyways, here goes. Sure, I would eat that again. I don't know if I could eat that much of it. There's certainly a not scared with their portions here. Hey, we're here now in Birogo. Birogo, is that right? Yeah. Anyways, it's a really cool street. It's been cut off to all vehicles and people just lounge around, enjoy a meal, have some tea. Look at the motos behind me. Look at this. There it is. We're gonna wander down, have something to eat. What's so special about this? This is uh, from the barbecue. This we call this brochette. These brochettes are fresh. It's beef. It's with onions and pepper. Test it. It's my try. You had me at barbecue. Okay. Mm -hmm. stop is of course fruits. Um, I'm full but I guess I could dive right into this delicious and natural sweet treat at the end of the night. Has anyone ever heard of a tree tomato? I haven't. Anyways, they're here served as fruit, which I guess technically tomato is a fruit, but this is a sweeter type of tree tomato. I'm not a huge fan, but it would be all right in a fruit salad, I think, or even a regular salad. Tree tomato. You learn something new every day.